This problem has several parts. We're supposed to find the driving impedance at various terminal pairs and then look for some results. So the first thing we're looking for is the driving point impedance at terminals AB. So we can ignore the other sets of terminals, for, at least for the purposes of, of the first part. should also note that the impedance of the inductor is L times S, so that's 2S. So we have series combination that would be 20 plus 2S. And now we have the parallel combination of 10 ohms with that series combination, 20 plus 2S. I think it's probably easiest to jump to maple at that point. What I'd like to do, especially in situations like the case where we have lots of parallel combinations that need to be made, I identify a procedure for uh, two devices, so that way I can simply enter, as I'm doing here, I would like to compute the parallel combination of the 10 ohm resistor and the series 2S plus 20 device. And that gives me that result. We're trying to come up with results uh, as just ratios of polynomials in S with a unit coefficient on the highest order term. I think the uh, normal function is usually a good way to proceed at that point and that yields this result right there. So let me translate that back into the work we're doing here. So we'd have 10, 10 times S plus 100 divided by S plus 15. So that would be the result for the first part. For part two, we want this driving point impedance at terminals CD. So we can ignore the other sets of terminals. And we've got series combination of those two devices. So 10 plus 2S in parallel with 20. Let's take a look at Maple for the second part. And I enter it here as parallel of two impedances leads to that result. And looks like we've got 20S plus 100 divided by S plus 15. So I'll bring up the original circuit for the third part. Lastly, we're looking for the impedance uh, seen at the terminal pair AC. So let me go ahead and erase the ones we don't need. I think it might help to also redraw the circuit a bit. Like if I bend my terminals up to the top like that. And I think it's a little bit easier to see that as we look into terminals uh, A, C, we have one set of series connected devices. I say 10 plus 20 which in turn is in parallel with, that's 2S again, parallel with 2S. So I'm saying parallel combination of 2 times S and 30 leads to that result. 30S over S plus 15. So that's the result for the third part. Let's uh, quickly scan through the results from the previous two, see if we can find that pattern. 
that was our first result and that's the second result so if you look carefully you'll notice that the uh, the numerators are always different while all of the denominators are the same. So that's kind of an interesting uh, thing here. So it seems to indicate that there's some inherent property of the circuit itself uh, such that the denominator always stays the same whereas depending on which set of terminals you look at you get different numerators.